Hi Capricorn, this is Melanie at Tarot Alignment. How are you today? This is your reading for February 14th through the 19th. I have to look at my whiteboard, my plan. Everybody should have a plan. Anyway, uh, today is, um, we're going to do our past, present, future, and what we don't see. And see what energies or what spirit wants to tell us. And, um, yeah, this this could be love readings. These could be just general readings. These are all general readings, by the way. This isn't specific for one thing. And sometimes it comes out that way. I can't help it. It's just the way, you know, the messages are being channeled to me. So um, let's get underway. Okay. So in the past... Present. Okay. So in our pre uh, our past energy, we had judgment. Uh, the star card. Oh, that was very serious. A uh, victory and a page of cups. So somebody was was really, uh, you know, two major arcanas there. There's the star and the judgment. So the star card is making a wish. So somebody may have been going through a divorce or some kind of um, legal battle. Um, could have been judged by your parents, could have been judged by a significant other. Um, you know, judgment is just that, is that you're being judged by a, so in, in the right of way, in judgment card is like the divine is coming down and people are out of their coffins and they're going like this and they're meeting their judgment of God or of, you know, what is happening, you know, that, you know, the good, the bad, you know, the, it, the scale is being weighed and, you know, how good were you? How bad were you? So that is something that you went through in the past is that, and, and it's also a time for you to judge yourself on how, were you are you being a good person or are you being a bad person or are you doing what you, are you showing up to be the best you can be and that's what that judgment card is and you know through the star card coming in that's another kind of divineness now again in the right or weight there's stars all around and those stars represent a divine entity that is um, a higher power than ours. So you've gone through this major spiritual transition with these uh, two cards. And that was something you, you had to do yourself. Unless you were involved in a divorce or something. But I I don't see it. I, I'm Because we have victory. And then we have the page of cups with a fish. And the fish is also a representation of divine, spirituality, divine. You remember the bumper stickers and then you see, you know, Jesus on the bumper sticker. So it's like you came up through something that was very dark and you did a lot of self analyzation and um, your winner, winner, chicken dinner with the star card. And with the Six of Wands, it shows that you've won. And it, it's, um, yeah, it's it's like a complete enlightenment. A, um, a glow up seems to be the popular word right now to say glow up. But yeah, you, you're going through this really big transition, or you did. and But here's where you are right now. We have the Ace of Wands. The High Priestess, the Ten of Cups, 
and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Wands. That's my sexy, sexy card. So I'm saying that you are um, very close to somebody right now. I want to say that it's it's a, a mutual uh, closeness. It's a mutual respect. It's it's um, it has give and take. And uh, you're kind of in your high priestess mode, which is, you're not really saying a whole lot. I think you're just riding the ride because you had all this enlightenment here, which brought you to this high priestess mode. So I think you're, you're just, how do I say it? Accepting everything that comes towards you. And that negative energy or those negative vibes that you're not feeling is that you are, I don't think you're giving them energy at all. I think you're just, you're just, you're just like, okay, and let me just get on. You're going through the, you know, the Ferris wheel ride, you know, the fool's energy ride. And you get in the car. They close the gate, you buckle yourself down, and you're just like, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to see what happens. And I think that's what you're doing. Because what it leads to is that you have this Ten of Cups. And this Ten of Cups is all these emotions, but these emotions are balanced. You know, they're on this wall, and they're going straight across. You know, and it's balanced energy. It's it's a peacefulness. It's It's happy. It's... You know that phrase that, you know, you are love, is that that's what you're expressing, is that you are love this week. This is what you're embodying, is that whole feeling of love. And that's what you're showing other people is, is and they see it. And you have this queen of pentacles of just... You know, Queen of Pentacles is a very generous per woman, is, is what they're saying. And that's what you're embodying, is this very big generosity. And because you, you are embodying that, that I am love. And so that's, that's very good, Capricorn. Your future prediction, well, before we get that, let's go into what you don't see. Okay, so what you don't see... So you have this two of pentacles, so, so there may be a choice. You have a six of cups, nostalgic choice, somebody with somebody that you have a past with. Um, there's love, there's emotion. This is an ace of um, cups. There's love and emotion, deep love and emotion that you have with this person from your past. And a page of swords is um, fast movement, you know, fast energy. And it's a message that's, you know, going to come in very fast. And it's the Wheel of Fortune getting on the Ferris wheel. So that's what puts you on that Ferris wheel. But the choice that you have to make, I guess, is to do we have to get on the Ferris wheel or do we not get on the Ferris wheel? So here's your future prediction. You have the Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, the World card again, and the King of Swords. Now the Queen of Wands, let me tell you about her. She's like the sexy siren. <laughs> She also could be the other woman or the other man. And you could have to think about maybe you're the other woman or the other man, Capricorn. And you don't know it yet. And maybe that's something that's coming towards you because you go into this higher front, this teacher, this um, this wisdom that, you know, it's 
the Hierophant is a very intuitive card because they're a teacher. So they kind of teach us something and when we get this card. So there's something that's going to be taught to us about this sexy siren. So there could be a sexy siren in the future that is comes into your energy. And this offer is coming in fast. This information is coming in fast. And that's what puts you into this world card. So I guess your decision here is this person that you know you're so comfortable with, so, so much emotion, so much time involved. The energy comes in, again, puts you in the world. It's the same thing. Do you see what I mean? You got the world and you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So, let's get something on this future real quick. How much time do I have? Okay. Is that, let's, uh, let's see who this uh, Queen of Wands is. This other person. Who is this other person? Who is this other person in Capricorn's life? That's quick. Again, Wheel of Fortune. The devil. Tell me more about this devil energy. 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 Queen of Wands. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, New Information, Hierophant, the World. You got somebody that's coming in. This Queen of Wands is very strong. Um, Capricorn, I, I, don't, I, can't, I don't know much more I can tell you, but the energy is there, and it's somebody who's very sexy, and with that devil energy, very charismatic, and can very, can seduce you, very, or seduce the situation, I should say, not you, I shouldn't use the word you, but it can seduce the situation, and possibly change the dynamic of your happiness that you're experiencing. Okay, the moonology says take time to breathe. Surrender to the divine. Hold your vision. Okay. So that's what spirit has. So just Maybe this person is coming in and then you're able to, you know, say goodbye. All right, let's just, I'm nosy. I'm sorry. Let's, what we don't see. Give me a quick one. The Emperor, Aries. Nostalgia, again, Six of Cups. The world again the world I, I I obviously I'm not supposed to t tell you anything more because it doesn't want me to I can tell you this though uh, this is something that you can work on this week it says narrow-minded you have a limited outlook on perspectives and thoughts what makes you think your thoughts are solid gold so maybe maybe think about that I mean because you ha are in this really 
spiritual glow up and maybe you're not thinking about other people and how that affects them and maybe you're not supposed to I don't know okay Capricorn thank you like and share my channel I love you and um, let's get to a thousand so then I can get camera equipment <laughs> okay bye